Lots of Taliban were found with footage from the American predators on their laptops. They bought uh, a piece of software from Sweden for $40. It's actually used for, for grabbing people's TV signals, so you can actually watch TV on your, your computer. <coughs> and they use this to tap into the drones, and they've been doing this for some time, hacking into these drones. There's a big drive, both in the military and in the police forces, to use a common operating system. And the United States are going to legislate for this because you've got all these different companies like we've got BAE Systems, you've got Kinetic, you've got General Atomics, and they're all using different kinds of operating systems. So the idea will be, um, let's give them all a common operating system so we can all work them from the same remote control devices and everything else. And <laughs> the worry about that is all you have to do is work out how to hack into one of these and now you've got them all. Whereas I'm really encouraging them, I'm not into development of military weapons, but I'm really encouraging them where I can when I'm speaking to stay with as many diverse operating systems as possible because this is very dangerous territory. It, I believe myself that it won't be long before terrorists hack into an armed drone and use it to attack us.